This time we're diving into the world of iOS and iPadOS 18.1 Beta 5. Apple just dropped this fresh update for developers and it's packing some noteworthy changes. As with most beta releases, the focus here is on refinement. Apple is busy squashing bugs, improving performance and getting things ready for the final public release. But that doesn't mean there's nothing exciting for us to explore. This update brings a mix of under-the-hood improvements and some user-facing tweaks. We'll break down all the key changes from new features to bug fixes and even some known issues to be aware of. So whether you're a developer or just an Apple enthusiast eager for the latest and greatest, stick around as we dissect everything new in iOS and iPadOS 18.1 Beta 5. Let's get into it. Unpacking the latest features. While Beta 5 is primarily about refinement, Apple has sprinkled in a few new features to enhance your experience. One notable addition is the expansion of live activities. Now even more apps can take advantage of this dynamic way to stay updated on what's happening in real time, right from your lock screen or dynamic island. Another cool addition is the improved integration with AirPods. With Beta 5, you'll notice smoother and faster automatic switching between your Apple devices. This means your AirPods will seamlessly connect to whichever device you're actively using, making for a more fluid audio experience. Apple has also given some attention to accessibility in this update. They've introduced new options for voice control, allowing for more intuitive and customizable control of your device using just your voice. This is a big win for users who rely on voice commands to navigate their iPhones and iPads. Now let's talk about the bug fixes. Beta 5 addresses several issues that were present in previous betas, making for a more stable and reliable user experience. Remember that annoying bug where your iPhone would randomly restart? Yeah, that's gone. Apple has also improved the overall performance of iOS and iPadOS in this update. Apps should launch faster, animations should feel smoother, and the system as a whole should feel snappier and more responsive. They've also addressed a number of smaller bugs related to specific apps and features. For example, there was an issue with Spotlight Search where it wouldn't always show the correct results. That's been fixed, along with several other minor bugs that were impacting users. While Beta 5 brings a lot of improvements, it's still a beta which means there are bound to be a few rough edges. Apple has acknowledged some known issues in the release notes, so let's go over a few of them. One issue that some users have reported is related to battery life. A small number of users are experiencing faster battery drain than usual after updating to Beta 5. Apple is aware of this issue and is likely working on a fix for a future update. Another known issue is with CarPlay connectivity. Some users are having trouble connecting their iPhones to their car's infotainment systems. This can be frustrating, especially if you rely on CarPlay for navigation or music streaming. It's important to remember that these are just known issues and you might not encounter them at all. However, it's always a good idea to be aware of potential problems before installing any beta software. Section 5. Health App Enhancements. A closer look. Apple has focused on the health app in Beta 5. This hub for health and fitness data has notable improvements. <laughs> There's a new way to track your sleep stages, get detailed insights into REM, deep and light sleep. Medication tracking is now easier and more precise. Share health data with family or healthcare providers. Section 6 Photos app. Refinements, picture perfect updates. The Photos app has received some love in Beta 5. Apple made subtle yet significant refinements to managing your memories. The improved search functionality is one of the most noticeable changes. Finding specific photos or videos is now easier than ever. Facial recognition capabilities have also been enhanced. The app is better at identifying faces even in challenging conditions. Apple introduced a new Memories tab within the Photos app. It curates slideshows of your photos and videos based on events or trips. Section 7. Safari gets a speed boost. Browsing just got faster. Let's move on to Safari, the default web browser on iOS and iPadOS. In Beta 5, Apple has given Safari a performance boost, making your browsing experience even smoother and more responsive. One of the key areas of improvement is page loading speed. Websites should now load noticeably faster. 
especially on pages with lots of images or complex layouts. This is thanks to optimizations Apple has made to the way Safari handles network requests and renders web content. Another area where you'll notice a difference is in JavaScript performance. Safari in Beta 5 is now even better at executing JavaScript code, which is used on many modern websites to create interactive elements and dynamic content. This translates to smoother scrolling, faster page interactions, and an overall more responsive browsing experience. But speed isn't the only thing that matters. Apple has also enhanced Safari's security features in Beta 5. They've improved the browser's anti-tracking measures, making it even harder for websites to track your online activity without your consent. This is a welcome improvement for users concerned about their online privacy. Section 8, Messages App Tweaks, Communicating with Clarity. Next up, let's talk about the Messages app, the go-to communication hub for countless iPhone and iPad users. While Beta 5 doesn't introduce any major overhauls to messages, it does bring some subtle yet significant tweaks that enhance the overall messaging experience. One of the most notable changes is the improved clarity of audio messages. Apple has refined the audio processing algorithms used by messages, resulting in clearer and more natural sounding audio recordings. This makes it easier to understand what your friends and family are saying, even in noisy environments. Another welcome addition is the ability to edit sent messages. We've all been there, sending a message with a glaring typo or realizing we've forgotten to include crucial information. With Beta 5, you can now edit sent messages for a short period after sending them correcting mistakes or adding missing details without the need for awkward never-mind follow-ups. But that's not all. Apple has also made it easier to share your location within the Messages app. You can now share your live location for a specified duration, allowing friends or family members to track your whereabouts in real time. This feature can be incredibly useful for coordinating meetups ensuring someone's safety or simply letting loved ones know your ETA. Section 9. For the developers adapting to Beta 5. Let's talk about what iOS and iPadOS 18.1 Beta 5 means for developers. Developers need to ensure their apps are compatible with the latest software. Apple has made changes in APIs or application programming interfaces. APIs allow developers to access specific features of the operating system. Developers need to review these changes and adjust their code. Keep an eye on the adoption rate of iOS and iPadOS 18.1. This helps prioritize compatibility testing for the public release. Leverage new features in Beta 5 to enhance your apps. Section 10. Should you take the plunge so the big question is, should you install iOS and iPadOS 18.1 Beta 5 on your device? Well, the answer depends on your level of comfort with beta software and your willingness to potentially encounter bugs or issues. If you're the type of person who loves being on the bleeding edge of technology and doesn't mind the occasional hiccup, beta will give you a sneak peek at the latest feature. Just remember to back up your device before installing any beta software. However, if you rely on your iPhone or iPad for mission-critical tasks or simple experience, it's best to wait for the public release. Beta software is inherently less stable than final releases and may contain bugs that could impact your daily usage. Ultimately, carefully and decide what's best for you. Section 11. The future looks bright wrapping up. iOS and iPadOS 18.1 Beta 5 is another solid step towards the final release. With each beta, Apple is ironing out wrinkles, improving performance and getting closer to a polished user experience. It's exciting to see the progress being made. For users, this beta offers a glimpse into the future of iOS and iPadOS. New features, bug fixes and performance enhancements all contribute to a more refined and enjoyable mobile experience. For developers, it's a call to action. Start adapting your apps to the latest changes, explore new APIs and get ready for the public release. As always, stay tuned for more updates on the latest Apple software. The journey to the final release is always an interesting one and I'll be here to guide you through it every step of the way.